Welcome to A Canadian Investing in the U.S., a podcast and YouTube channel focused on Canadians buying real estate with host Glenn Sutherland. Welcome to another episode of A Canadian Investing in the U.S. Uh, This week, I got my guest, Benson Juarez. Um, Benson is from Privy. Tell us a bit about yourself. Tell us where you, how you got to this point, and then we'll, uh, we'll get into some cool stuff. Awesome. Well, thanks for having me, Glenn. Um, it's, I'm super excited. This is a kind of a new scenario for me, you know, working with, uh, you know, somebody who is basically based outside the United States. And, um, I mean, that's, you know, why we initially connected is because, you know, I, I heard about you through somebody else who was doing some work. Uh, with you and and I've always been fascinated about people investing in the U.S. Um, and just getting out of wherever they're locally at and, and looking for opportunities here. And I tell people here in the United States that if if somebody outside the U.S. can have success in in a completely different country, you can have success in the next city over or the next state over, because there's the boundaries are basically gone now with the democratization of data. And the way that platforms like Privy can enable investors to get access to the data they need to be able to you know, find deals, analyze them, run comps, like all that information, there's no stopping you, right? And so I've been in this business now for close to 18 years, and I started out on the lending side of the business, uh, but I just slowly started adding more and more tools to my toolbox. And one of the most recent things is, is Privy. You know, uh, Privy was designed from the perspective of trying to solve a lot of the problems that many agents and investors have when it comes to finding deals that it's, it's very manual. And, um, you know, as an agent licensed here in Colorado, you know, with the, with the MLS in our back pocket, it still can take hours and hours and hours to analyze properties. And it's just not an effective use of anyone's time. So uh, my business partner, Scott Fall, and I worked in the same real estate office and we realized there has to be a better way to do it. So Privy was born out of those, those problems that we were having as agents and trying to get time back, automate the process of finding and analyzing deals, and then just adding in a bunch of new features and functionality as we've grown as a company and as we've grown uh, geographically across the US. We're currently in 21 states. And you know one of the exciting things is we're gonna be nationwide here in the next few weeks. So we're really stoked about that. Cool. Okay. So I was going to first definitely, I was going to ask you to define which states, but you know what? A couple of weeks, you're going to have the whole nation anyway. So mm-hmm. let's just skip it. So you, you mentioned the name Privy a few times. What is Privy? <laughs> what is Privy? What does it solve? Um, well, Privy... I, I know, but I, I don't, I, for people listening. <laughs> well, Privy is not an outhouse in England, which <laughs> is another name for uh, another meaning for the, the word privy. Um, every now and again, somebody likes to pull that out. And, but privy is, you know, when pe- people say, well, you're privy to information it means you have information that maybe somebody else doesn't, right? Or you have information that could give you an edge or give you an advantage. And so um, my partner, Scott, was clever enough to, to get that the name. And I think it really does mean a lot when it comes to this business because it it is kind of a, a competition it's a game and any sort of edge that you can gain by having additional information or knowing the right people or having a, a an approach or a system in finding and analyzing deals that's different um, can give you a significant advantage so Pervy is it's an online um, real estate investment platform where we basically pull in data from multiple different sources and we run algorithms against that data that will help a real estate professional automate the process of being able to find deals, uh, leveraging a really powerful comping algorithm that's powered by real-time MLS data, uh, which is, is unique in this industry, uh, to be able to have that, that real-time MLS data powering the analyzation of the properties. But it's all done through the, the lens of tracking investor activity. So based off of where other investors are doing deals, how other investors are doing deals. Uh, We're able to extract this investor activity from the raw data. So you can see what they're buying them, those properties for, what they're selling them for, uh, their gross margins, timelines, before and after pictures, all real valuable information that will help an investor zero in on that after repair value 
but also give them a, a much better strategy on how and where to look for deals. Because as much as we would love to avoid competition in this business, you literally can't if you want to have any meaningful success because you have to be where your comps are at. And if you are choosing areas to invest based off of convenience or what's familiar, you're going to end up spending a lot of time, money, resources in areas where you're not going to be able to make the numbers work because you're maybe the first game in town, right? And if, if you're the first property that's going to be fixed and flipped, or if you're a wholesaler and you're marketing in an area where nobody's buying, you're going to cause a lot of problems from yourself down the road and basically put a lot of work into something that might not turn into money in the back end. Yeah. Yeah. And for a lot of people that are, I know some people, because they listen to my show, I always talk uh, or preach a lot about, uh, you know, buying with wholesalers and buying the offline side of the market. Um, funny thing is uh, we just, Benson gave me access to this like a month ago, but I actually just got logged into it last week and got started playing. And uh, in less than a week, we actually found a deal on market that actually met our crazy or criteria that we're looking for. And we're going through the whole process. So it is uh, maybe let's talk a little bit about some of the uh, analyzing features of this, this, this product. Sure. Well, congrats on that. Did you get it under contract? Where are you at in the process? Uh, <laughs> kind of we're, we're writing up a, a complaint on the realtor because they're requiring us to uh, do all our inspections ahead of time, which usually when you're dealing with, that's more of a wholesaling thing, right? Where usually you can uh, purchase the, put it under contract and then do your things if you're dealing with MLS stuff and realtors, whereas this one's treating it more like, um, like a wholesale deal where you have to have clean contracts and you have to do all your uh, due diligence ahead of time, which is kind of hmm. backwards. And we're not really a big fan of that because we'd like, I'd like to get it under contract before I spend the money to get all the people through it. Um, but anyway, that, that's, kind that's of totally backward. That, oh, yeah. I, I would be pissed too. That's, that's but, not you know, the way to do the business. There is difficulty. Uh, there could be opportunity because a lot of people, other people are like, get out of here. We're not dealing with this stupid stuff. So True. it could be an opportunity on the other side, but that, that's where we're at. So I think we had people go through it uh, yesterday, paid some contractors to walk the property and scope it out. And then uh, hopefully they'll tell us that uh, our numbers are what we were hoping. And then we put it on the contract clean. Great. Well, congrats on that. Thanks. Um, so you asked about the, the analytical features. Yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about that a bit. Yeah. So as I mentioned before, you know, this business is, is a comparable driven business. And so part of analyzing a property is in, is to, to determine what the after repair value is. And for the, a lot of the major kind of exit strategies like fix and flip wholesale burr. Um, ARV is the most important kind of factor in how you're going to analyze a property. Basically, it starts with an accurate ARV, hopefully, and then backing your numbers out to get to where you need to be price-wise for that deal to make sense, your maximum allowable offer, right? And so what ends up happening is a lot of investors, I mean, for years now, have been kind of operating in the shadows by, you know, pulling data to determine value from you know, Zillow or some random website online or relying on an idea. agent. That's not a good idea. An agent's a good idea, but, uh, but then you just bother them with bombarding right. them with many properties. But yeah, so this is a way to solve that. Yeah, you'd basically get to go around all of that. And I mean, I, I look at any business and this is one of the few businesses you see where the people who are in it are, are always looking for ways to cut corners, right? Where you look at any other professional business you would never see a professional in, in a business like just try to use bad data or not use professional business tools. It's this is a very unique place where investors just are historically doing things incorrectly. And this is why more than 90% of investors fail is because of they're always trying to cut corners. And it I don't know where it comes from. I think a lot of people get lured into this business thinking it's going to be a kind of a get rich quick kind of scenario. Yeah. And they're just going to find a property. And then next thing you know, they're going to be rich. It, it's just not the, the, the facts, right? This is a business. You need to treat it that way. And if you're, if you're hacking the situations and looking for to cut corners and save money and try to do everything yourself, you're just not going to get any good traction to move the business forward and turn it into where you can actually walk away from a nine to five job and, and have all of your income come from the real estate investing side of it. It's, 
it's a problem. It's a real problem. And that's one of the reasons why Privy is getting so much traction and why we love what we do is because we are we're enabling investors to basically legitimize their business where they can say, listen, this is what I do. Here's how I run my numbers. When we've got a sharing feature inside of Privy, and when when our, our our users share our comparative market analysis, this is another one of the analytics tools, is that our system will find a property and it will automatically build a CMA or comparative market analysis, which has all the property details. And then it automatically pulls comparables, builds like this really cool kind of online uh, format slash report. It's accessible anywhere. It has all the information you need to really dig deep into a, a property to find out you know, what it's worth, what the comps are, the neighborhood, you know, rental data, um, all of those sorts of things in one place and determine if that property makes sense for your business model. And um, with all those tools, you're really able to kind of put a systematic approach in place where you can have some meaningful success. Exactly. Yeah. It might also prevent you from making some mistakes by having some information, uh, buying wrong, uh, predicting mm -hmm. your sale value to be wrong. Um, yeah. So what, let's, let's go over uh, a quick sort of thing. I don't know if we're going to do video or not, or if we're just, because I know a lot of this is people listen to this on iTunes and Google Play and Spotify and those sort of things. But um, maybe talk about how it, you can sort of see both properties, see the comps, how it sort of lays out. If, you know, if, you, if you do pull it up, it's up to you. Um, make sure you talk a lot about what, you, what we're looking at so people understand what we're seeing. Um, oh, you got it. Yeah, yeah I, I will pull it up and I will kind of explain it as we do it. Um, I'll do a quick screen share here. So Pervy uh, gives you the ability to, to see multiple markets all at the same time. And what I mentioned before is in a searching for investor activity, we've got a simple way of being able to identify investor activity by running an algorithm against the data to extract that information and basically plot it on a map so you can visually see where the hot areas are at. And this is, again, another one of the things that I think a lot of investors uh, get stuck on is, is just not knowing where to do deals. So with, with our technology, you can basically visually see like a heat map with the red areas where you should be focusing your area, your, your efforts, and then areas that don't have any data or areas that are blue, you wouldn't want to go and spend a bunch of time looking for deals. So one of the areas that we find is, is fairly hot is like, say, for example, Chicago. So Chicago, um, even within the, the kind of city limits where they called it Chicago land, there are areas that are hotter than others. And so an, an investor can bring it up on their computer and see where these hot areas are at, the red ones, and then avoiding areas where they may not be able to make the numbers work. So they sorry, can- Sorry to cut you off. What does hot mean? Does that mean like uh, the, the appreciation is hot, like where you'll get a good- uh, a uh, purchase price to sale value. What is what define hot for us? Well, hot actually doesn't have anything to do with the deals themselves. It's it's about the the matches based off of the search that you ran. Okay. So in the one that I ran here, um, we're basically looking for properties that were fixed and flipped, and they went up in value at least twenty five percent in the last twelve months. So hot <clears throat> with this particular search means the most matches. Where are the most matches for that particular search? So the most matches for that is, is you know, right where you see the red color. Mm -hmm. Now, what we give you the ability to do is to drill down on those areas so you can see all the before and after data on all those properties in that area and, and see on the map the specific neighborhoods and streets you should be targeting with your marketing efforts. So instead of, let's say, for example, you're doing a mailing campaign. Well, the average investor would just get, download a spreadsheet and then they would just blast out to all those people, you know, here's my postcard, right? Give me a call. I can help you out. Well, you're going to be sending mail to areas where you're not going to be able to prove after repair value because maybe there's nobody doing deals there. But with Privy, you know specifically which neighborhoods you should be looking for deals. And we show you all the comparables that are in that area. So you, now you have the ability to really prove ARV because you're... The, you're in a high investor activity area. And then when you open up the properties, you can educate yourself on what the investors are actually doing on the ground by looking at the properties they just closed. So in our CMA format, our system will 
number one, pull all the comparables for you. It's all real time directly from the MLS. We show you the rental data. And then we put the, the property side by side with the original purchase and the after. So you can see what it looked like before they purchased it, what it looks like after they purchased it. And then you can see their margins. So they bought this thing for 25 grand, sold it for 200,000. So they grossed $174,000 on this. And when you're measuring how good a deal is initially, you basically use percentage of ARV. So this thing's at about, what is that? 12% of the after repair value, right? Which is yeah. ridiculous, right? Which is a ridiculous amount, but these are, these are deals are getting done, right? And our system was able to identify this. And then you can see the after photos, which are hugely helpful because most investors, they watch these, you know, home and garden channel TV shows, right? So they see like the chandeliers and the waterfalls and the glass tile. And so they think that that's what they need to do on a house to make money. And really what they should be doing is, is basically building to the level of the neighborhood. What will the neighborhood support? And we show you all that information right in our system. So you can take those questions out of your mind and, and limit your liability on overbuilding for a neighborhood. Mm -hmm. And you can see in this one, like for people who are listening to this, on the left side, you can see the old, or the pre-reno, how it was listed before. And you can see the on the right side, the post-reno. So yeah, exactly what uh, Benson just said is you can literally see what, what to, how much to do in order to go to that point. And, that, and, you, know, and you can, so you can expect, what, what you can expect and you can, uh, you can even show that to a contractor and say, this is the level I want. I want to turn something like this to this. You could provide this stuff to someone to set expectations properly. Absolutely. It takes a lot of the guesswork out of it. And, you know, part of the appeal of those shows is the seeing a transformation, right? Like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it went from this to that. Well, we we do that as well, right? And it what's cool about that too, is it's not a fictitious show where actors are there and we know the numbers are wrong and they overproduce these things. And there's always an artificial tragedy, like they're over budget and they're behind and it's, it's always like fun, but you know, this is, these are real deals. Um, and then for those people that are doing wholesale, we show you who the buyer was on that, who, who did the fix and flips. So this, this one here is on repair corp. So the best, most, strategic way of building a buyer's list if you're a wholesaler is to look at the people that are closing deals today not just collecting emails from you know facebook or collecting business cards at the local ria it's like okay who closed the deal in my target area yesterday well this is the company so we show you who those buyers are and you know also a lot about them you know what zip code they're buying in you know what kind of property they're buying you know kind of what they call their buy box right their buying criteria just by looking at the home that just closed. So you can create that, that initial contact by you know, reaching out to them and talking to them about the property they just closed, saying, oh my God, look at that house you just closed on South Perry Avenue. It came out amazing. You know, It's got a great kitchen. I love the way you guys did the design. It looks like you guys killed it. You know, I'm an investor in the area and I often do wholesale. Uh, if I find something that looks like this, can I send it to you, right? And now that door is open. The lines of communication are open. And that person led with data. And now that legitimizes the, how you look as, as a wholesaler in the mind of that investor, because you, you better believe that, yeah, yeah they're, they're getting approached by wholesalers who are just, you know, hacking situations left and right, and they just don't look professional. So this, this really helps to legitimize yourself. That's awesome. All right. What do we miss for privy? What else we got to talk about? Well, the, well, the next thing is like, really it's, it's your go-to source for, for copying and, and analyzing property. So it's, you can literally just type in the address of any single property you want to pull comps on and the algorithm will build a comparative market analysis, show you all the investor activity in the area. So you know what the value of your home is and have the proof to, to show that. And then you can figure out what your, your offer should be, but Really where the power comes with Privy is, is the, the searching of deals, potential deals um, at all times. So you can basically flip the switch and turn that algorithm over to look for active deals that you can buy. And this again, which is amazing, right? Because we use this approach where we basically are starting with the end in mind. Instead of just searching based off of convenience or what's familiar, 
you reverse engineer the process. So you find where the buyers are at, you find where your comps are at, and then you look for deals there. And with our, our comping algorithms, you can find properties every single day that match your specific deal criteria that are on market. Now, I, I, I suggest that every investor has multiple sources of deal flow. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. And, and if you've figured out the formula for off market, yes, continue to do it because you know we want all, all different sources, but we can find you know properties like this one right here. It's 77 grand. I mean, it just came on the market today. And we, we flag this property as a deal because it's in an area where one of the closest sold comparables just went for 300,000. 232 159 so and we this just mentioned because people didn't get to see what you clicked on there is you were you were doing a search to find everything that was better than 60 cents on the dollar uh, and that's how it, it showed up for him um so the, these is that's a search algorithm a feature that this thing has you can search based on the comps in that area what uh, what purchase prices are lower than certain ratios right yeah so we're comparing the ask price of the home to the price of the comparables. And this is all done automatically, right? With the algorithm. Yeah. And then once it finds a property that matches your deal criteria, it will send you an email with those properties and then you can make a move, right? This one, we found another one here that's for sale for hundred grand in the house right down the street, just went for 250,000. So these properties are available. It's just that investors need a better way of finding them and doing it manually. It's just not a great way of doing it, but with Privy, you basically can save the search and then the algorithm constantly monitors all of your areas. And then it emails you whenever it finds a property that looks good. And, you know, in an area like this, I mean, we're looking at this right here and there's, there's a couple dozen just here that went on the market in the last couple of days. And this is just in one little part of, of Chicago and it has the power to do this all over the United States. Which is incredible because it, it does the homework for you. You don't have to sift through as much stuff. Absolutely. And that's what's exciting about the next step, which is here in a couple of weeks, when we launch nationwide, we're going to have every city USA, but we're also adding in off market data. So you will be able to say, okay, here's my hottest area. Well, now show me every foreclosure that's in this hot area. Show me every absentee owner, every vacant property, all the cash buyers, corporate owned, REOs, um, tired landlords, zombie properties. So we've got some really cool new features coming on the new version where you can basically find a property in three clicks. We basically, we, we automated the filling out of the for, of the forms that I showed you here before where it's all pre-filled out. So three clicks, you can literally find a property. Anybody can do it. Absolutely. Anybody a newbie can do it. Um, advanced people who are pressed for time and have a lot of balls in the air, mm -hmm. three clicks and you've got deals in your inbox. And like this one we just looked at here, hundred thousand dollars. The ARV being two fifty, I mean that's that's an amazing deal. I, I don't have, know the, the exact number on it, but um, fa fabulous deals like that will show up in your inbox every day. Cool. Um, so let's talk about the webinar a little bit. Um, next week, uh, Wednesday, no, what are we? Wednesday, May twenty sixth, eight p.m. Uh, we're going to do a webinar. Uh, about the same thing, but people are going to don't tune out because the, we wanted to do give uh, or Benson wanted to give a discount code, but the, the trick with uh, podcasts is they're kind of evergreen um, that the people will try that code like in a year or two years or three years and they won't be any good. So uh, the, the purpose of the, the webinar is come on and then you can get a discount. Get a get a good price on if you're interested in this software. Uh, it, it would be a, a quick, easy way to scale your deal and actually find some some good deals without having to put all the the same kind of effort that even to this day that I do. I spent hours uh, going through properties to find each one. Um, so um, I don't know if there's anything else you wanted to add to that, but that, that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna put the link in the show notes to this podcast. Uh, so it'll be coming out like one week after this one airs. Um, so uh, Ben, oh, yeah. else to add to that before? Yeah, well, discounts is great, right? Everybody loves to get a discount on, on products and it's just, it's a good business move, right? Why, you know, spend more money than you need to, but <clears throat> we're also baking in a bunch of other kind of, of bonuses, right? So we're, this is going to be one of the last opportunities to get privy before we launch the, the nationwide version. And 
one of the things we're doing is giving people kind of pre-launch specials. So our pricing is likely going to change after we launch nationwide. So this is an opportunity for anybody to get in and get it at a huge discount with grandfathered pricing, free education, and some other kind of really cool bonuses like buy a buyer's list and some free books and, and training and other uh, real estate investing tools um, for free. So, you know, definitely don't miss it. You're going to be blown away. And even on, on the podcast itself, I'm sorry, the, uh, the webinar itself, we're going to be finding deals live and giving them away. So my commitment is to find at least five deals that are better than 50% of the ARV that they can write offers on that night. Sounds incredible. <laughs> okay. Um, I think that's it. Um, thanks for coming on the show. Yeah. Person. I, I, we, we can cover more on the other thing. I think this is an, enough like of a, a good walkthrough to some people. Uh, if you are listening to this, you can uh, come join us for the webinar. If you wanted to get a walkthrough and you can actually ask him questions at that point too. Um, or uh, you could watch this uh, come over to YouTube and I'll, the video of what we just did will be up there and you'll be able to see how to walk through it a little bit, a little bit of training. And like you said, if you uh, sign up, there is a, there's, there's a training element to it. But uh, as you saw from him going through it, it, it isn't something that has a big learning curve. It looks like something that you could uh, fumble your mm -hmm. way through pretty quickly to, to pull up some comps and pull up uh, some, some deals. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be great for anybody, anybody who wants to invest in the U.S. or someone who's just trying to get their mind wrapped about the logistics of trying to do deals that aren't in your own backyard, right? That's one of the biggest challenges, but that's an advantage now for investors. You're no longer limited by where you live. You can basically do it anywhere. You just need to have the data and a systematic approach to execute it. Awesome. Well, thank you for coming on the show, Benson. I think yeah, thank you, uh, you opened a lot of people's eyes up to some a new product that uh, could really change their business. I agree. Well, thanks for having me, Glenn. I, I really appreciate you and what you're doing up there. I, I think you provide an invaluable service and education platform for people. And um, you're literally saving people tens of thousands of dollars by what you do. So I, I commend you for that.